guys, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to Fingered. Fingered. Yeah, how many of you are grossed out already by the start of this episode? Good! Get your head in the game! People are saying that I could actually search my own name here. Um, not that the developers were like, oh, we know Jacksepticeye, we're gonna put him in. But that there's a, there's a database for everybody's name. Like, no matter who you search, like if I just search Jack, it should show up somebody. Yeah, Jester Jack. Uh, um, losing a nail a month or so without legs. Jeez, if I search Jack again, will the same guy come up? Yeah, okay. So there seems to be somebody in there for everyone. Uh, Felix. Um, forlorn Felix. He's 23, close enough. Drowning his own mother and one year in heaven. Will you go to heaven for drowning your mother? Be nice, uh, Mark. Um, <laughs> mental Mark. <laughs> Age 12! That's exactly correct, Mark is 12. Talking to the lizard man, sentenced to a few hours of burning alive. A, a few hours of burning alive will not be alive for long. Anyway, let's get in and play. First off, I'm sorry that I was so bad at the game last time. I did not realize there was a release option above everyone's heads, and I did not read the description of all the people coming in properly. Those are two massive complaints people had in the comments of the last video, so I apologize. Sometimes when I'm recording videos, I, I know I should be better at it by now, but sometimes when I'm recording, my mind just drifts to so many different places, I'm not concentrating as well as I should. Basic Bob is basic. He's easy, he's simple. See, there's a release option above their head. I did not know that. I, it said that I could release them and everything, but I didn't know I could actually release them. Misunderstood Mac, you look like one of the guys I just searched. Okay, positive he looked tall. There's rules, you little dudes out. Um... He looked odd. They all look odd. He looked old. And he looked messy. Okay, so it's not you guys. So I, I can release these and narrow down my witnesses. There we go. He looked all messy. He looked old. You look very neat. You? I think it might be you. Old, messy, odd. Let's try you. Let's finger misunderstood Mac. Get him in the chair. Get him in the chair. <laughs> Finger him! You don't look that old, though. Please don't tell me I'm gonna fail right off the bat. Yuck. I got it! Yes! Guilty man executed. Detective says, I the best! <laughs> That's what I said. I said that a load of times when I played Happy Wheels. Not only I'm the best, but I say it like that. I the best! <laughs> old finger stolen. Okay. Whose finger am I using? Nearsighted Nan, she tries her best. Yeah, so one of them was opposite Opie, and it said, Everything he says is opposite, so I didn't realize that. I thought all these people were the same, so there's a lot more to it than I expected. So I apologize, okay. I think he did not look neat. So you think he looked messy. Fair enough. I'm positive he looked tall, so that rules you out. Rules you out. So when the positives comes in, that's good. I'm positive he looked like me, so old? I think it might be this guy. Wrinkled Whalen. Okay. Look like he has money. Yeah, it's you. It's you. Get him in the chair. Get him in the chair. It's you because you have gold around your neck. Are you positive? Finger him. And you look old. Finger. Finger. Detective says, ah, oh, stinky boy. Nerd gets girl. I don't see why not. I mean, it's perfectly plausible. Bigot Barney. He's racist. So is that something? If he says white or black in this, Will the racism work against me because he wants to indict a- Which way is he racist? Who's he racist against? <laughs> I don't know. Positive he looked like my paw. I think he did not look like he bathes too much, so you think he looks messy. Positive he looked like a white person. Yes, yeah, so... Are you racist against white people and you just want to indict a white person? Or are you like... <sighs> I don't know. He definitely did not look like a freak. Fuck. Ah, oh, crap balls. Okay, so he definitely looked like a white person. So we go with that. It says if it definitely looks like a white person, it's 100% correct. So I'm going to go with that. There's only one white person there. Release all these guys. Um, you're the only white one. You're green. <laughs> um... Okay, will we go with this guy? Okay, let's see what else it says. He definitely did not look like a freak. They all look like freaks. But I mean, does a freak count as like, having horns? I don't know. He looked like my paw. 
Ah! Oh, get him in the chair. Fuck, I'm bad at this! I am in it! So he's the only white one. <laughs> and the detective says, I'm helping! <laughs> negative Nancy, she's always so negative. Okay. He definitely did not look totally old. So he looks young. Definitely did not look like a slob, so he's clean. He did not definitely not look like a total freak or something. Definitely did not look ugly. I think it might be you. Oh, it could be you either. Okay, let's go through. He's not ugly. <laughs> Again, they're all ugly. Even the ones who are kind of like they take care of their face or whatever. They're still ugly. Um did not look like a total freak. So I think that might rule out you, Gross Goro. We'll release you. Uh, and we'll release the two first guys. Okay, that leaves me with you four beautiful gentlemen. You vampire teeth. Um, he definitely did not look like a slob, so he's clean. You're all clean. He did not look totally old. None of you look old! He definitely did not look ugly. Dapper Dingus, Brainy Benny, fuck! Which one is it? I think it might be you. Would it tell me if I'm wrong if I release the wrong person? I don't think it's you, because I think you might count as a freak with the teeth. I don't know. I'm gonna guess this guy. I'm gonna guess this guy. Finger him. He's got gloves on. It's not the right guy, is it? No. No. It was him? Oh, see that one got hard because, okay, is it better than us, right? It's better him than us, right? I look the other way. Okay, so I can keep going again. He's usually wrong about something. So something this guy is saying is wrong. Positive he looked like a chub chub. <laughs> Positive he looked pale or something. I think he looked crazy, so maybe that's wrong. He definitely did not look like a no hair. Okay. So he's got hair. Um, he's pale. And he's chubby. Shite. <laughs> Maybe you're wrong about the hair thing. Is it you? See, like, which thing is he wrong about? Think he looked crazy. They all look crazy. He definitely did not look like a no hair. So he definitely looked like he had hair. But this is the only guy who's tubby. So which one of them is wrong? Um. Oof. I don't think it's any of you guys. I'm gonna release you. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna finger you. I'm gonna finger you. I think it's you. You look like a pig. Yeah, I was right. Detective says, get his finger. Is that what I'm doing? Screw you, buddy. Famous last words. Evil Eddie, only half truths. Okay, so yeah, these are the things I wasn't paying attention to. Only half truths. But which are the right ones? Okay, two of them are thinking ones, so I'm gonna assume that the two thinking ones are the wrong ones. He looked cute. None of those look cute. He definitely did not look feminine. What does that even mean? He definitely did not look like my kind of guy. Those are not helpful. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm at a loss now on this one. You're wrong, aren't you? Ah, oh, I fucking did it! Go with your instincts, Jack! Don't listen to the game at all. So, I didn't even read the stuff that the person was saying last time. Well, maybe that's why I didn't get past opposite Opie. He describes people in the opposite. So if he's using double negatives, oh fuck. I'm positive he looked unlike a jock. Oh, okay. So unlike a jock is a nerd, but if you're opposite, that means he's a nerd. Okay. Is that how that works? Double negatives are gonna mess me up. Positive he looked young, so he's old. Positive he looked poor, so he's rich. Positive he looked unlike a hippie. Positive he looked unlike a hippie, so he's a hippie. Um... Ah, oh, fuck. This does not help. I know I should be scrutinizing them a lot more and releasing other guys, but... Positive he looked unlike a hippie. So, you're saying he doesn't look like a hippie, but you're opposite Opie, so he does look like a hippie. Make up your mind! You're not looking at the camera, motherfucker. So you look like a hippie, because you got the peace sign going up. Well, that's a fucking live long and prosper from Star Trek, but... You got a flower in your hair. So do you! Shit! I'm positive he looked young, so he looked old, Get so it's... In the chair. It's this guy. It's this guy! Fuck him up! Bummer. It was him?! What?! Oh, stupid! 
ass! You're positive you look fat! So get rid of Hobo Henry. Is there anybody else who's large and in charge? I don't think it's you then either. Would it tell me I instantly failed if I sent out the wrong person? Again, I don't know how that works. Positive you look fat, so he's thin. Ugly. Does that kind of rule out you guys? Because you guys are super cute. Look at you guys. Um, I think it might be you. He's ugly. But you, you said he's clean. None of these guys look clean. You're done. For. I'm against you! Yeah! The sector says, out of rest! Rock feet has worshipped. I stole the TV. Hobo eats child. Good lord. <laughs> oh, I did. I got the paranoid Paul and I got to the one after him as well. Someone following him so he can't stay long. Oh, okay. He definitely did not look skinny, right? So he's fat. He definitely did not look messy, so he's clean. I'm positive he looked dumb. Positive he looked tallish. Okay, so it's not you. Release. Um. Crap, the rest of you kind of look all tall. Fuck! Um. Uh, time. Go, 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 go! I'm running out of time! Dish. Yeah! Dish. I haven't got one wrong yet! Detective says, meets meat. Super meat boy. Goat stomps flower. Goat! Evil bastard. Old man can fly. Bite me, fanboy. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got a broken Bella. She has head problems. So, what does that mean? Is she wrong about stuff? It's bad if you send you. Okay, that says the same thing. Okay. Buzz if you look like a high up guy. So, not you. Uh, I don't know what counts as high up, though. I don't think it's you three guys. Okay, I I'll whittle it down a bit more. He looks like a girl guy. The fuck does that even mean? He looked like a fluffy man. What? He looked like no dollars man, so he looked kind of poor? If you look like a fluffy man, does that mean it's the guy with the beard? And he doesn't look like a no- he looks like a no dollars man, he looked like a girl guy. Maybe he looks like a girl guy means he has long hair. Cause she's not right in the head, apparently. I think it's you. Get him in the chair. Get him in the chair! Yes! Fucking logic is flawless! See, I'm concentrating a bit harder now, because you guys yelled at me last time. Is murder legal? Only if it's in an electric chair, apparently. I stole the TV. <laughs> Bullhead Bart, I didn't get to you last time. If someone is fat, then they can't be skinny. Poor people can't be wealthy, it just doesn't add up. Thanks! I still don't get why releasing people makes it easier. It whittles down the list and it makes it easier to click through them. But it doesn't make the things easier to click on. Oh! I did get to you, because you're the one who does not look at hints again. He never repeats himself, yeah. Okay. He definitely did not look like a man, so I'm gonna write down this. So, feminine. Femme? He definitely did not look cute. Ugh. <laughs> he definitely did not look like a fatty. Skin. And... Definitely did not look all young. I put that with you, so... Femme, ugh, skin you! Hmm. Shite. <laughs> He's skinny. Is there any- Okay, so, the tubbies can go. Is it you? But like, the ugly faces make it hard to discern if they're male or- Not male or female. If they're young or old. But you have like, the cartoonish feminine eyelashes. Get him in the chair. Maybe? Yuck. Haven't failed one yet. Good lord, I'm doing well now. Man dies inside goat! What a way to go. What a way to goat! <laughs> Day 11! Articulate art! He's very specific. Very clues describe someone who matches most. Okay. Okay, so I'm positive he looked neat and tidy. I am positive he looked very unattractive. Okay, shite. Positive he looked strong. Positive he looked intelligent. Shit. It's not you! Because you have a dunce cap on, and he said I'm positive he looked intelligent. So I'm guessing maybe this guy with the book, or this guy with the book. Stubby Sean! I look handsome. <laughs> positive he looked neat and tidy. So I, I think it's you. Very unattractive, yeah, that would fit your description alright. Looks intelligent and very- he looks strong. Yeah, it's you. Get him in the chair. I think- I, I think it's you. I'm positive it's you! Guess what? You killed the wrong guy. 
Shit! Shy Shannon. She's shy. Doesn't help me. He definitely did not look like a hip. Hippie. Okay. I'm positive he looked gay. Positive he looked ghastly. Gangrenous. I think he did not look bald. Okay. I'm positive he looks smart. So, I think maybe it's you. Ooh, Nelly. I'm positive you look smart, so it's not the guys with the dunce hats. Um, oh, there's two more guys with dunce hats. Fair enough, got it. Right, what else were you saying? He did not, he definitely did not look like a hippie. Okay, so get rid of you. And get rid of you. Cause you guys got peace signs, and get rid of you. Cause that's the stereotypical hippie thing, right? We're down to four. I'm positive he looked gah. Gah, you hardly mean gay. I don't want to assume that that's what it says. That, that, that clue means no, that clue makes no sense to me. He did not look bald. I think it's you. I'm gonna guess you. Bent oh, Bobby. You. Finger him. Beautiful. Please don't tell me it said he, he looked gay and then you call him Bent Bobby. Really? Ibs Iggy. Oh, IBS Iggy. He's got irritable bowel syndrome. He's gotta go really bad. <laughs> die, die, die. There's a story going on behind all this with my character. I have a feeling my character might be a psychopath and he's like stealing people's fingers. Okay, um, shit. Okay. I think he did not look weird, fuck. He definitely did not look fat. Okay, so he's thin. Get rid of all the fat people. That's you. Think he did not look weird. Maybe it's you. Definitely did not look fat. Definitely did not look short. I'm against you, I only have 20 seconds. I don't know! Fuck! It was you! Damn, I picked too fast, I panicked. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode of Fingered here. I don't know if I'm gonna play it again. It seems to be a very limited kind of thing that once you get to a certain point, there's no, like, rewards in it. It's not like I get to 10 guys and I get something else out of it. It just seems to go endlessly. I don't know if there's more to it. If there is, maybe I'll do it again. I'll try a lot harder. Maybe there's a secret to it that I can look up, or I look up walkthroughs, or I look how other people are doing it. Maybe it'll make it a bit easier, but I got pretty far that time. I don't know how many people I fingered. Ugh. Um, yeah, but it's like fingering the perp, it's like pointing them out. That's what I meant to say last time. It's like, the witnesses come in and they finger him, they point him out. It's like, yeah, I'm fingering you right now. <laughs> but, it's a fun game. It's a fun game, it's very, very cheap. You can go off and buy it yourselves if you want, and play around with it, and see if you can get further than I did. I did listen to suggestions last time, I did listen to feedback, see, I do read your comments, I do listen, I do take it on board. Not everything is terrible, terrible advice, a lot of it was actual constructive criticism last time. So thank you very much, this is why the comments are a beautiful resource and I love reading them and all that kind of stuff, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, if you liked it, punch the like button in the face, like a boss, and... I find all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Well thank you guys and I will see all your dudes! I don't know if that's right. I don't know if he's correct. I don't know. You might die. Actually, you're definitely gonna die, but you might not be the right guy. I did it! Yeah! Detective says, fill me up! I did it because I'm a because I am a man. Those I'm gonna be Jester Jack from now on. I'm going to be crazy and teach you all loads of tricks. I'm gonna juggle. <laughs>